Put a smile on your face when you're moving from place to place. Welcome back to the morning show on Tobago Updates Television and thank you for staying with us. We begin conversations this morning in studio and we speak with Inspector Caitlin Sterling as she brings the updates on crime here on the island of Tobago representing the Trinidad and Tobago Police Services. Good morning and welcome. Hi, good morning, Adam, Adana and our listening viewers. Right, um, so it's Monday and uh, usually here on Tobago Updates Television on the morning show, we speak to TTPS as it relates to things happening on the island of Tobago where crime is concerned. And our most recent um, news coming out there over the weekend, an arrest was made um, of a young man uh, driving suspiciously and, and so he was apprehended. So tell us a little bit about that situation if you're able to this morning. Okay, Anana, that's a success for the Tobago Division because you know we have having some violent crimes happening in the Tobago space. So, as you said, the gentleman was arrested uh, for a firearm which was found in his possession, also narcotics, uh, cell phones, and other items. He will be investigated, the matter will be investigated and taken to court, he will be taken to court. So that's a success because of the crime that has been developing in the Tobago space. And you know, we've had, there's been a lot of shooting incidents on the island of Tobago in the recent past. Um, the most recent one being in um, the Argyle area. Lamy Road, Argyle. Lamy Road, right, that, correct. And um, of course, we had an innocent bystander being um, falling in the line of, um, you know, the shooting and she was hospitalized. And we're happy to hear that she's out of hospital now. Um, how is that investigation going? Do we have any information that you can share with us where that is concerned? So a correction, that incident happened at Winwood Road, Argyle, in the vicinity of Pablo Supermarket. Mm -hmm. And we must be grateful that the doctor is out and safe. She is home recuperating. The TTPS is uh, investigating this matter vigorously to bring the perpetrators to justice. So we we are we have leads and we are following up those leads. All right. Um. Well, I suppose you're following up leads on all the shootings that we've been having on the island of Tobago because at the end of the day, um, our citizens are really really concerned, and we all we have the conversations in studio, and I know that the TTPS is sitting, um, in their offices strategizing and speaking with the other agencies. But uh, you know, of course, as people, as humans, and people living in the space, what we really want to see is apprehension of these criminals, and we want to get the information and to know that um, they are behind bars. At the end of the day, that is what our primary concern is here on the island. Yes, and we are investigating these matters with urgency. Uh, we, we also strategize ch doing, changing our strategy. And we, you, I'm sure you can see in Scarborough where we've seen police officers joined with the TTR and we have not joined foot patrols in the Scarborough area. Uh, we also did some vending, cleaning exercise, clearing Scarborough to build back the confidence in person so that they could peruse Scarborough comfortable with a sense of, with a sense of safety and security. So we're really working on bringing Tobago back to the Tobago we all know and the Tobago we all want, right? So, but we also asking our stakeholders to partner with us to ensure that this happened and we are working and we are working to ensure that we bring a sense of safety and security to our citizens of Tobago. Um, you, you mentioned that um, we would be seeing more people, we, we have started seeing more um, a foot, foot police on, in Scarborough, in the Scarborough area, um, but you know sometimes and because of history, historical um, evidence, you see when something happens um, because it's fresh, you see the police would come out, they would be there in their numbers for a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months, and after a while, you would see the resources dwindling away. They might be, I don't know. Um, is it something that would happen in this instance, or what is the plan in terms of sustaining a, a police presence in areas that we deem primarily as hotspots and in, in communities in general to ensure that um, persons feel safe? Well, we really... We know some of us say we do reactive, reacting policing, but we are trying to be proactive. And in the earlier times, you know, we always see foot patrol in Scarborough. That is, that is not something new. So we want to continue with this, with the 
with the increase in resources that we we expected and we are having we want to make this regular and that it is a continuous effort with the ttps in 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 maintaining this this new well not new this initiative that it would continue and not only in the scarborough space but we're looking at all the whole of tobago because as we could see the crime is it's, it's not concentrated in one area we have it in the east we have it in the west north and the south so we're really trying to improve and continue so this will be the new face of the ttps in tobago uh, we do hope that one it can be sustained and two that of course the results will come as a, um, as a consequence of this action and as you said that all the stakeholders come on board to ensure that we put the necessary um, actions into into place to ensure that Tobago remains a safe space because at the end of the day as I always say here on this program that the crime situation affects not just the people who are immediately you know impacted by it but it affects all of us it affects our tourism industry it affects our economy and and at the end of the day, it affects me and it affects you personally because we live in a space now where we feel so uncomfortable and uneasy to be outside. So we do hope that the measures you put in place will, of course, bring that measure of ease back on the island of Tobago. I know you also wanted to start talking about uh, missing persons. We started having that conversation last week and, you know, you want to go into it a little bit again this week. So tell us um, in terms of management of when a report comes in for missing persons and the, the type of um, reports that coming, is it? a specific age group or um, how are these reports lodged what what is the in terms of gathering information um what is the kind of the age group that you look at for persons who are going missing these days so we must emphasize that missing person is a priority for the ttps in time back we say missing persons you have to wait 24 hours to report someone missing as soon as someone is missing you must report it to the ttps any police station the closest one to you it is a priority for the ttps and in making that report you must have necessary information age of the person a recent picture of that person description of that person what a person was wearing last who was the last person person that's person spoke to. We have in persons between the age of 12 to 19, mostly female missing, also elderly persons. So we know elderly persons suffering from dementia. So we ask in caregivers or family members, you know, don't leave these persons alone at home. Some of them, you know, they're just persistent and they must go to Scarborough you know, put a name tag on them, a contact number in their bag or maybe in the pocket so that persons could identify and help them out. Also, persons in the village, you know, we know persons who normally walk away. We could contact a family member or maybe the authorities if we see this person wandering away. Our children, most of our parents, we fail to report children missing because we believe they may be by a friend who are absent parents, so we fail to report at the moment. But we are asking, you know, you report as soon as that person, that child is missing, that child may be in danger, they may be uh, sexually molested. So we need that report as soon as possible so we can act on it as soon as possible. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're speaking with Inspector Caitlin Sterling from the TTPS this morning, bringing the crime updates to us and, of course, giving information in terms of how you can report a missing person. And you don't have to wait for 24 hours. As soon as you realize that this person is missing, you can lodge a report. Remember to send in the necessary information so that investigations can begin immediately. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to go for a short break before we continue conversations in studio this morning. And as we go for a break, we invite you to help us share the live. Share the life, share the life. We'll be right back. <laughs> 